Hello beautiful people, welcome to a new video. We are in the midst of winter and up here it has been such wet weather that we've spent all our time inside. We're planning on finishing up the interior of the gamut this winter and there are lots of little drops left to do. The first thing we set out to finish up is our new dining table. It has been a while since I had a reasonable table to work on, so this is super exciting. Jonas has smelled the wood from an ash tree from our land and finished it up into one surface area. And I set out on a mission to finish up our walls with some natural paints. The red clay plaster is beautiful, but also darkens the space quite a bit and I suspect something brighter would make it more airy. I'm mixing up a mix of clay plaster, red pigment and some lime putty from our local lime kiln. Jonas had to figure out a way to attach the surface of the table to the tree stump. What's left to do now is the final touches. While setting up the base layer of paint I wondered in myself, would this not be a nice spot for a tree? So I collected some clay, sand and fiber and mixed them up together to sculpt the tree in the middle of the room. In the evening time Jonas is crafting on his wooden jewelry collection, which is slowly getting established. <laughs> the 
With the holidays behind us, we brought home some discounted Christmas lights for our outdoor lightning. The idea is that the fairy lights will light up the pond in the future, but that is still a big mud pit at the moment. Jonas finally finished up his woodworking bench, giving it a smooth finish now and some varnish for wood protection. We have three goats, but one of the ladies is being pushed out of the shed in the evening and we noticed she has been sleeping outside. So we figure we need to add some roof structure here, so she can at least stay dry and partially out of the wind if she is being kicked out again. I recently went on a new woodcut journey, making it a priority to work on it every day a little bit. We decided we would turn the bed that is in our living room into a couch that would easily be transformed back into a two-person sleeping area when that is necessary. The block that I always use as a weight when making big prints is now a little table as well for multifunctionality. I messed up the color in the kitchen area, making it way too pink to my liking, so I went ahead and did some testing before adding a new layer here.
We put some extra shelves in our clothing closet space as we lacked a bit of room and organization here. It's soon time to make some doors here as well so it looks more tidy. I thank you all very much for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now!